Hey there, Mr. and Mrs. Powerful. Yeah. Look, last episode, we talked about how the artists be sitting out here, sitting up on some power. Look, in these one-stop split sheet agreements. If you got the template, you know what I'm talking about. If you watched last episode, you know what I'm talking about. In this episode, guess what? Yeah. Look. Power don't last always. We taking your power back. Okay, let's go. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. What you say now? When you talk money, I can hear you. What? You ain't got money, that's a cold blood. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. Bubble on deck, yeah. Look, I'm your host, Tamara Bubble. That's what they call me. Look, I'm also your favorite sing superstar. You know I am. I'm the one. Yeah, look, I am the I Hear Money Coach. Cause look, I be out here hearing money. Look, this episode I hear money. I think. Look, this episode I I heard that these artists got this power, and I heard that they started power tripping. Yeah. So look, I had to pull them back. I put the episode out last time and, and they went they went crazy. I heard they went buck wow. And you know what else I heard? I heard they started tripping. So little we gonna pull that pulling that power back this episode. Yeah. Look, it's time to pull the power back. Guess what else time it is? Look, it's subscribe time. Look, if you feel in this podcast, go ahead and do me them favors. I need five favors from you in the form of a five star review. Could you do that for me? You just got to do it one time on this podcast. You ain't got to five star me every episode. Matter of fact, you can't even. <laughs> look, go ahead and try. Try it if you don't believe me and see that you can't do it but once ew they tripping because you you know you want to give me five stars every episode but you only got to do it once but what you could do every episode is pretend like you know pretend like you know that it's skin 30 and it's subscribe be time and that means that you can like share comment subscribe turn on the notifications hit the bell get spicy with it look Share this episode. Share this with a share this episode with an artist that's power tripping. Share this episode with a producer that got a song that y'all made together and they won't put it out. And tell them, look, this split shit gonna get you together. Go ahead and release this song. Cause we got caveats in these contracts. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. We're not gonna get into the episode just yet because I didn't tell you who sponsored it. I didn't look while you was busy subscribing. I forgot to tell you that we got a sponsor we should talk about. The sponsor for this episode is the sync superstar academy yeah look sync superstar academy just want to see you superstar in these sync streets look we just want you making six and seven figures with your indie music i'm trying to tell you you don't need a, look you don't need a record label you don't need a publisher you got the power to make this money yeah and look the sync superstar academy gonna teach you how guess what sync superstar academy gonna do Give them 30 days, less than 30 days. It don't take 30 days to start Superstar. We're going to activate your Superstar in less than 30 days. Visit SyncSuperstar.com to take the challenge. That's all I'm going to tell you. It's advanced game. It's a self-study program. Hop on whenever you get ready to win yeah look the product for this episode the sponsored product for this episode is the one-stop split sheet agreement it's a free agreement first of all look you ain't got to pay you ain't got to pay to be great this is gonna be the first step to you making this money music licensing you're gonna make it easy for the music buyers to clear it and that's how you're gonna get to this money now go get your copy get your free template look it's a template but go get your free template don't be late get your free template anyway get music on tv.com that's the website you need to visit to get your free split sheet yeah look you're gonna register right real quickie quick give your name give your email and you're gonna get your template just look it don't take nothing but a click and a slip it don't take too much it's gonna take two minutes of your day anyway that's the first step to greatness look when you ready when you ready for this money you come and hop up on that challenge though 24 hour sing superstar activation challenge all right at it now could we talk about why this podcast was created because i know you're thinking you i just made this podcast to sit up here and just be talking to myself in the room all by myself but no ma'am no sir <laughs> yeah this podcast is for you this podcast is for you to win there's four goals with this podcast at least what i had in my mind at the time of creation at the time of conception i was just out here like oh, look how can i help these people look the people need this greatness i can't just be the only one out here superstarring i want to teach the people anyway goal number one is to save you money 
Save you money in your sink business. Yeah. So I'm going to need for you to have a sink business in order to be saving this money. But the game that we're going to be bringing for you. Look, if you ain't got the sink business, go ahead. Look, Sink Superstar Academy. I done told you they sponsored this ep- episode. I done told you they sponsored this podcast. Now I'm going to tell you they got resources. Okay. Start your sink biz now. Just look for that. If you ain't got no business, you don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know where to begin. <laughs> I want you to save this money, but you're going to need a business. Okay. Now that's the first goal. Goal number two is to make you more money in music licenses. I want you to make this money. And that's what the challenge is going to do. The challenge, look, I'm trying to tell you. The, ta- the challenge going to teach you everything I know. And I know enough to be dangerous. More importantly, I know enough to be superstar. And I'm going to teach you what I know if you, look, when you ready, not if you ready. Because I know you ready for money. You ain't, you mean to tell me you done lived all these years and you ain't ready for six or seven figures with your music? Okay. <laughs> anyway, goal number three is to transform your mindset. Look, this episode, you power tripping. Your mind is tripping. Your brain don't want this money. I hear the money for you, but you power tripping. So I had to put something in that contract. Yeah. Look, I had to put something in that one stop template to keep you on your toes to let you know that look i give you power but only to a certain limit because some of you artists and some of you producers be out here tripping i'm just trying to tell you anyway goal number four after you get look after you saving money after you making more money and after you get your mind right and stop power tripping guess what you're gonna do you're gonna hear all the money matter of fact you're gonna activate your whole superstar in these streets and look that's why this podcast is here i'm trying to tell you now this podcast is here for now. But look, if we run up on a lawsuit, the podcast might go out of business. Anyway, I'm trying to tell you, I got to put this disclaimer out here so that you don't catch me slipping. Yeah, look, I'm giving you a template. It's editable. I'm telling you that this template is legally binding once you get your other co-writers and collaborators to sign it. And I need you to know that I'm not your lawyer. I'm just your friend. I'm trying to help you out. At the end of the day, I just want you to superstar. But you're not finna sue me about this. You're not finna sue me behind nothing that I say on any of these podcasts. I need you to know that this template is free and these opinions, look, while they are juicy and bubbly. <laughs> They my personal opinions. This episode, last episode, next episode, all them episodes in the future, and all them episodes have done happen. I'm trying to tell you. It's personal opinions. This is not professional, legal, business, or tax advice. The sooner you get that, the sooner you're going to hear this money, the sooner you know that you can't sue me about it. Look, we could get into the show. Bubble on that. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. What is that? Okay, now, look, we finna talk about, in this episode, we finna talk about the little caveat in the one stop, yeah, so this little, this one stop split sheet agreement is a pager, one pager, you doing paperwork, not papers work, yeah, it don't take all that to get this split sheet done, get this music one stop, look, let this music be one stoppable, where you can get to this money, now, in the split sheet in the template like i said is editable and last episode i told you you could get that power to anybody but what i told you is that whoever pays for the master they're the master owners they're technically the ones with the power but the one spot stop split sheet gives the artist the power to release master owners you still own your master but you're not finna control an artist's brand and tell them when to drop a record unless yeah look there's a caveat let me tell you something i'm an artist but then i know that there's gonna be sometimes i collab and i'm just gonna be the songwriter i know there's gonna be times that i collab and i'm just the producer so i start to thinking like bubble can we make it fair for all the different parts of bubble when i'm an artist i want to be treated right right when i'm a producer i want to be treated right like you just not gonna run over me and hold these songs hostage because you the artist with all the power okay so now in that very same little one-liner quickie quickie on the template that give the artist the power to drop them songs on dsps look there's a caveat in the same sentence like if you read it too fast you're gonna miss it Ew. <laughs> yeah look 
I'm protecting the artist and the songwriter and the producer all in the same contract. I'm trying to tell you, Bubble do things fair. I'm trying to tell you, Bubble don't want to see nobody get Jewed anyway. I need to go into a little example. Could we pause on that? Because that's the solution. The contract is the solution. <laughs> And if you ain't got a copy of that split, you go ahead, get music on TV.com. If you're trying to get your music on TV, go ahead, get that website, hit up that website, get that template. So, you know, so you can follow along. <laughs> Could you be prepared? Pause this episode. Look, it's a smart podcast. It's going to keep running right now. Go ahead. Go to that website. Look, I'm get music on tv.com it's gonna take you two minutes download the split sheet and then come back to the episode so you know what's going on okay anyway because i'm gonna go into a little example that while you download it and by the time you get when i get through with this example you're gonna be ready to rock and roll anyway okay so now look there, there's something i want to talk about i got to talk about this power tripping because some little artists you get you get look when you find out you indie and you find out you got all this power, you look and you realize, hold up, I ain't signed to no label. Yeah. Look, hold up, I ain't got no pub. Look, wait, I am my publisher. Hold up, that's a whole nether episode. Cause you got whole lots of powers when you indie. But anyway, we ain't talk about this that this episode. I'm not gonna get off topic. Anyway. Hello, I, I look, I am my label. I am my publisher. Don't nobody tell me what to do. Then you just start doing stupid stuff. You just start tripping with all that power. You just not be knowing. Like, like you just be thinking like, oh, I could drop a song today. Let me drop a song today. Let me drop a song tomorrow. Oh my God. I, I'm a, I'll drop one jazz record this week. I'm going to drop some pop next week. Look, I'm going to rap on them next week. You just start doing stuff. Yeah. Like you ain't put no money behind it. I'm trying to tell you, you ain't got no sync placement. You just be dropping stuff unprepared it's just gonna sit on the shelf i done told you last episode you tripping you need to look i got a book from sync to superstar gonna give you strategy with this music don't just be out here dropping stuff because you got the power but anyway i want to talk about when you power tripping because you tripping when you just dropping stuff all raggedy with no 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 strategy behind it look if you ain't got no promo strategy, you need to have a placement strategy. Could you have something in place anyway? Um, cause I done told you, don't nobody know you or your music anyway. Okay. Could we talk about this example of power tripping? I was at a conference. Now I was at the sync conference, right? I was up on the panel, up on the stage. Look, had my, you know, I had my shades on popping out here. Look out here just giving gems to the people. I don't even know these people. Come get these gems. <laughs> anyway, I was out there gem dropping and whatnot. And there was another panelist on the um conference stage. And they were just telling a story about this artist that was power tripping. And they was telling it and they was giggling. And the whole time I was thinking, hey, so let me tell you why i was ill okay so they said that this artist had a brand name right and they had a whole lot of music they was making you know being an artist having a bunch of different genres you know doing what they wanted to which is perfectly fine look could you stop sitting up in a box you ain't on no label you ain't got to make just one genre okay anyway they realized that and they have music in other genres but then when they would release the music if it was music that wasn't in the brand that they thought that they had established, okay, they was dropping it under another brand name. Ew. Okay, so look what they thought they was doing. They think they're a whole A and R out here, and they copying off of these major labels, and they out here thinking that oh, if I make rock music and I make pop music, I can't put that all under the same brand name because that doesn't match my artist brand. They get they they look they just turn into look head of A and R of me and me records i don't even know who these i don't know who trained these people i don't know who raised these people look like you as an artist i don't know who told you you who died and made you a and r <laughs> anyway they just start categorizing their music and saying this ain't my personal brand i don't relate to this music but somehow they created it so either they was faking for sync or like i don't know how your body and your mind and your brain is creating these songs but it's not you but anyway do you boo <laughs> yeah go ahead and make them three four five ten thousand separate instagram accounts and i don't know how you're gonna manage them because you ain't got no marketing budget you ain't got no promo money yeah look, that's what sync is for to cover this marketing and this promo but you out here just creating like five th different thousand identities like go ahead do you boo boo <laughs> 
ew, it sounds like a lot of work. Anyway, this artist made, so let's just say main brand name A, right? They would put their music that they really could relate to, that they felt was really their unique self for sisters. They would put that out in one brand name, right? And then this other music that was still dope, that still came from them, that they didn't want to claim. These look, these in, illegitimate music babies. They didn't want to claim these music babies, so they put them out under brand name B. Now, can I tell you that the sync don't care about these brand names? Okay, the sync just gonna take the take this these placements. It's just gonna take this free marketing, and it's just gonna pop if it wanna pop. Now, can I tell you what happened with this artist? They put their music out. Their music is always just over here. It get a sink or two. It's doing whatever. It's cute or whatever. <laughs> yeah. They put out this illegitimate music babies. And them music babies had some real sink money behind it. And that song took off. So now this fake brand name that you out here managing that don't even relate to you. Right? Takes off. Cause it is sync. I didn't tell you sync gonna make you a superstar. Anyway, fake brand illegitimate music is out here taking off. The real you out here flopping. You know what this artist did? Cause they be out here power tripping. Look, they got the rights. They can drop five thousand different artist names, right? So this artist decided to make some new music with his flopping original self and collab. With the popping fake illegitimate artist brand. Do you see how ridiculous that is? Do you see how ridiculous? It's ridiculous. Like not even ridiculous, just ill. Because look, if you had put all this music out under your one brand name, you would have all them fans. Now you got to figure out how to marry these two brand names and make money from both of them. And you don't even connect to this music. Now you want to collab with this music that you don't connect to, but you made it all. Like, do you hear how ridiculous? Anyway. Because artists be tripping, that ain't the only way artists be tripping, but that's just one example. Let me tell you, artists be out here making music and be getting placements on it. They don't even bother to make a fake brand. They will just never put the music out. So you just, you don't even want this extra free streaming money. You don't even want the Shazamming. You don't even want the free follows from it. Like, so you just made this music to sit on your hard drive and then get in a placement and not be available for the people. So you don't actually want to serve the people. You just want to make this diary music that's going to sit up in your diary and people going to be shazamming and looking around like, oh my God, I need this song. and just can't even find it. Like who raised you? Do you know how selfish that is? You're going to make music for the world and then not give it to the world when they want it. Like if it's in a sink, okay. People going to want to Shazam. People going to want it. Now, you're not even going to make it available for them. You tripping. Anyway, to prevent all of that. <laughs> yeah, look, last episode, I told you in that split sheet, right? We had look, in the little template, get music on TV.com if you don't got it. Now, if you got it, follow along with me. In this second paragraph where it says that the artist got the power. Yeah. Look, now it is edited the bow. So it ain't got to be the artist. It got to be whoever, all the co-owners, co-publishers, co-master owners, yeah, co-writers. What y'all all agree on? Who gonna release this music? Y'all fill in the name. Anyway. I personally believe that it should be the artist because their brand is involved with this music. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> Look, I know artists be power tripping. Yeah. And you're not going to shelf this song because at the end of the day, if you look up at the top of this one stop split sheet agreement, the top line or two, after it get done telling you what's the name of the song, it tell you the purpose of this split sheet. <laughs> And it say it's for sync. Yeah. So now look, you could be the artist and whatnot, but you're fitting to release this song when we fulfill the purpose. Look, when a placement come in, you're going to drop this record. So in that, in that split sheet in the second call, in the second paragraph at the bottom, right? It gives the power to the artist or whoever, when you fill it in, it's going to say blankly blank is going to release this song on the DSP. So they got the power. And it say when they going to do it. <laughs> yeah. Look, it say once a sync placement come in. And that's just the caveat in case they tripping. Yeah. Look, because I'm trying to tell you, it ain't just artists that be power tripping. It be producers out here that just be on some like, oh, I'm going to just make these songs. I'm going to get these artists to feature up on these songs. I ain't never releasing them because I made it for sync. No, ma'am. No, sir. 
If I'm making a song with Sync, it's because I eventually want Superstar. Yeah. Look, if we collab and we ain't going to put these songs, you're not my label. You're not fitting the shelf this music. I don't care if you got the power. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing, artists. Look. When the purpose has been fulfilled for this record, if a sync has been secured, <laughs> yeah. Look, we putting this song out. So now here's the thing. You got the power to release. So if this song don't connect uh, with you, we're not going to sit it on the shelf. We know you created it with your artist name. If you don't want to put it out under your artist brand, cool. Make a fake name. Drop it when we got the sync. Okay. Because look, if you have my book from sync to superstar, you would know their strategy when you get a placement. If you're trying to capitalize off the free marketing and promo, yeah, look, you're going to need to drop that song. I tell you in the book when to drop it, how to drop it, where to drop it, and what to do around it. That's that ugh, That's that, that strategy to become a superstar. So from Sync to Superstar, that's the book. I'm going to put the link in the show notes. If you don't got the book, if you don't know about the strategy, get familiar. If you don't got the split sheet, if you don't know about that template, get familiar. Get music on TV.com. I'm just trying to tell you this whole episode was just to let you know that you got the power. Until we get a placement. Now you finna drop that record. Look, if you power tripping, I'm trying to tell you, this gonna, look, cancel your trip. <laughs> yeah. Could you get your money back? Because we dropping this music. You think we finna make this music and you think we finna have these hit records and they just gonna sit on the shelf and we ain't gonna put them out. You is not my label, artist. And artists, tell them producers and songwriters, you are not my label. You're not gonna tell me when to put it out. Until we get a placement. Now look at the song don't never get no sync. Yeah. Look, I'm not going to talk too much about it because I got a book from Sync to Superstar. But I'm trying to tell you, when we get a placement, that look, that contract, that caveat and that contract going to activate and you need to drop that song. Yeah. Okay, now, bubble on deck. Look, if you're broke, don't talk to me. I said if you're broke, you can't talk to me. Hey. Oh.